the first conviction using DNA, a frontier for forensics. By Ashley Hendricks and Peyton Arona. In the early 1900s, it was incredibly difficult to convict criminals. The only source of locating an offender was based on shoe prints that many people shared, fingerprints that were only legible if previously documented, or proof of injury, which would often create a large pool of suspects, making it almost completely useless. Other types of evidence were from eyewitness accounts, which could be unreliable at times, and some crimes may not have any witness to tell authorities. 1980s, United States. Crime was at an all-time high, and trouble may have lurked around at any corner. Society needed a safer and more reliable way to convict criminals. 1986, scientists all around the world, including British Alec Jeffries, were studying and experimenting with DNA links and connections. Meanwhile, in the U.S., scientists Michael Baird and David Hausman worked together on the process of identifying an individual based on their DNA hereditary genes. After finding that they may have Tommy Lee Andrews was a criminal who was charged in 1986 for raping two young females. One of the women he assaulted in her own home, Karen Monroe, managed to survive and escape. Monroe immediately alerted police to the crime. Andrews is already a suspect for numerous crimes that had happened prior to the case of Monroe. He was taken into custody after being recognized by a couple who saw him through their window on the night of the offense. Blood from the crime scene was drawn and matched Andrews' semen concluding that Andrews did in fact commit the crime. According to a 1988 article from the New York Times, experts testified that DNA tests provide the same certainty of identification as do fingerprints. A witness of the crime also confirmed that she recognized Andrews as the attacker, therefore further confirming that he was the felon, along with Monroe's first-hand account. This was reliable enough evidence to put Andrews behind bars. The case of Tommy Lee Andrews is the first to use DNA matching as evidence in the United States, motivating and influencing DNA study and research for the future. DNA is the hereditary material in most organisms and in people. Most cells in a human's body have the same DNA. This is why they can compare blood samples with semen in testing. They had used DNA fingerprinting, which according to the National Human Genome Institute, is a laboratory technique used to determine the probable identity of a person based on the nucleotide sequences of certain regions of the human DNA that are unique to individuals. The nucleotides help identify if the individual sample is the same as the sample found at the crime scene. Some people may think the use of DNA may not be very groundbreaking for forensics, as many forensic state labs don't have the necessary technology or resources to process any taken DNA. The majority of crime cases won't even have their DNA results back until three years later, but the majority of rape and murder incidents will always come back in the span of about four months. A DNA match between a biological parent and a corpse will also take roughly about four months to process, though if any of these are top priorities, the lab could send verbal results. Of course, though, this isn't official enough to be considered quote-unquote evidence. This all may be true, but DNA combined with other factors like first-hand witness accounts and documents are very powerful. On its own, DNA isn't that useful, but that should not discredit the effectiveness of this technology. In fact, if there isn't any DNA fingerprinting included in a court case's evidence, the crime scene technicians and departments are expected to work twice as hard, as they are forced to explain how the suspect got there, why they were there, and what their motives were. This created a major frontier for future convictions. Criminals are greatly easier to identify, especially if their DNA is already recorded in a police system due to any previous offenses. Criminals may also be recognized through the use of heritage discovery websites such as Ancestry.com. If a suspect sends a buckle swap to this website, any country law enforcement has a right to foyer the information used as a DNA match, though there is a large controversy regarding the morality of this method. All of these improvements are entirely possible due to the scientists and the tests of their discoveries on other than Tommy Lee Andrews. It only begins to describe how powerful DNA can be.